In September, the construction of the Salomon Design and Technological Bureau made significant progress. The main result is that the main works on laying engineering networks outside the building have come to an end. During the month, the builders performed the following works outside the building. They performed piercing a laid pipe under the roadway to connect the storm sewer to the central network. They laid communications for telemetry and other low-current networks. They installed climate control systems on a special platform. They backfilled the heating mains. All necessary tests were carried out and the relevant certificates were obtained for the startup of the heating mains. They started laying the cold water supply pipes. The main line for the ethylene glycol for climatic installations was laid. Site improvement was actively carried out. The temporary fence was completely dismantled. The lawn area to the left and rear of the building was laid out. The laying of black soil was started there. Curbing was installed at the design marks to the left of the building. Reinforcement work at the main entrance was completed. Inside the building the work was no less intensive. The installation of the individual heating unit was completed. Soon sensors will be installed, automation will be done, and installation will be possible. Ventilation and fire sprinkler system was being installed. Heating pipes, water supply pipes, electricity and other communications were laid. They installed partitions with doors and painted the ceiling in the control room. Part of the frames for glass enclosures were assembled. Internal finishing of the walls and ceiling of the administrative and utility building with fire-resistant paint and varnish materials was carried out. Floor tiles were laid in various rooms of the administrative and utility building. Tangible progress in construction was made possible thanks to the funds received as part of the thank you promotion. We are grateful to all our investors for their support of the project and remind you that we cannot reduce the pace of financing now, so we keep the bar high. From September 12th to 15th, on the eve of the Solar Group International Conference, 11 delegations of investors and project partners from different countries visited the Salomash construction site. Alexander Sudarev gave them a tour of the construction site, where he told them in detail about the achievements and the nearest construction plans. Besides, the guests managed to communicate personally with Mitri Duyunov. In the days leading up to the conference, a number of informal business meetings were held for each delegation, where they actively discussed project development in the regions and shared their impressions of their visit to Russia. Inspiring and productive communication continued on September 16th at the Sol Group International Conference. It was held at the Congress Center of the Special Economic Zone Technopolis Moscow on the site Pichatniki. The event was attended by more than 300 guests from 15 countries. They were addressed by 17 speakers, top managers and national representatives of Solar Group, representatives of Sovelmash, invited specialists and heads of Indian companies that are interested in applying the Slavanka technology in their production. The conference participants were the first to learn the news and get the long-awaited information about the project development. Speakers told them about the corporatization and going public, the progress of construction and development of Sovelmash, financing and future projects, the process of launching the Design and Technological Bureau and the timing of the transition to the 19th stage. In the showroom, they were presented electric motors with combined windings of Sovelmash development, vehicles and tools produced with Slavanka technology, documents of the companies, and also the main prizes of Solar Group Autumn Lottery, an electric car and an electric motorbike. All participants noted a very high level of organization of the conference as well as other activities that took place in the framework of the event.